Blessed are you, O Lord Jesus, the Lord and Creator of all things. You became the mother of your Maker. You remain forever the Virgin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Spirit. Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we who cannot please you by our own deeds may be saved through the intercession of the mother of your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain, for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor. Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all the women on earth, and blessed be the Lord God, the Creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Lord be with you. And with you, Jesus. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord, you, Lord. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you in the breast at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today our church celebrates the optional memorial of the dedication of uh, St. Mary Major, the oldest church in the Latin West, which really takes its prestige from the Council of Ephesus, which occurred in 431. Ephesus declared Mary 
In the Greek, it used the word theotokos. We say the God bearer or the God bringer, i.e. the pregnant Mary, Mary with child. Now, when this council came together, its sole purpose was nothing uh, concerning Mary. It had nothing to do with her. Its purpose was to define our understanding of Jesus. Because there was a group centered around a man by the name of Nestorus, who was arguing against our belief that Jesus was fully human. We had just uh, approximately 100 years earlier had undergone a similar situation with the followers of Arius who had declared Jesus was not fully God. Now we've gone the opposite. He's not fully human. And in defining Jesus as being like us in all things except sin, well, like us means he has to be born. And in being born, he has to have a mother. So we should honor the mother of Jesus, the mother of God. And it goes to our understanding. You know, we, the Catholic Church, we speak often about the importance of the nuclear family, the Western nuclear family, father, mother, and child or many children. But we speak about the importance of having father and mother for the overall well-being of the child, its growth and development. And here in the church, we honor God as father. Yes, we honor God as son. But if we are to be consistent, should we not honor Mother, too. Well, Mary should be honored. Not worshipped, honored. And we do that respectfully and reverently. That first church was dedicated to her honor. Because mothers have a deep and abiding imprint upon the heart of their sons. For the most part. So today, let us thank the mother of God who said yes, not only to bearing the Son of God, but bearing with what he would endure, his horrible crucifixion and passion, who is there to bear with the bearing of her son and who is able to celebrate his resurrection may almighty god be with you may he bless you the father the son the holy spirit amen coming together as one family and faith let us offer to god our prayers and our needs we pray for our holy father for our archbishop for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians, we pray to the Lord. Lord we, pray. we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way in their caregivers. We pray to the Lord. Lord we, pray. we pray for uh, those who will be watching this Mass on video. And for you here present in our church today, we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray. And finally, we pray for Carolyn Metti for whom this Mass is being offered this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we have prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall, shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the divine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your man for the praise and glory of his name. My good and good will of the Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people, with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no requests be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your we bless the Lord. the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 <laughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of praise by putting down the spirit upon them, like the people, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and took willingly into his passion. He took bread on and gave me thanks for it. And gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Lord, 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 Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace us to grant peace in our days, and that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of your hand and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. And with you. Last Lamb of God, you give us the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you give us the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us the peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Go in peace. Thank you, God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protector against your wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God be with you, my Lord, and in you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, God of the Lion of Power, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through this world, sleeping through our souls. Amen. The divine praise and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred form. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, most of the sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her forced assumption. Blessed be the name Mary, the Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints.